Hello. I'm Sam. Welcome back to It's All Just Semantics. And I dyed my hair. Well, I didn't dye it. My friend Sarah dyed it. Welcome back to the channel. Hi guys. Hey, hello. How's it going? <laughs> it's the 15th. It is Wednesday. Um, it's been a busy day, which is why I haven't actually filmed it before now. Um, I went and got a new windshield this morning. <laughs> I went to film when I was sitting in a coffee shop waiting for them to finish it um, and realized I didn't bring my memory card for my camera, so I couldn't film anything this morning. Um, and then I went and got my hair done did, and we dyed it purple, but the first time she finished, like when she washed it out, none of the dye stuck. So... Yeah, we're not sure what happened. There was no reason for why it didn't stick. Um, my hair has never said no to hair dye before. I have had all sorts of colored hair before. Um, I had, I've bleached my hair many times. I did, I did bright purple, I did bright blue, I did teal, I did pink, I did purple and teal together. I've done red, I've done black. Black was probably one of my favorites. The purple is like kind of my go-to though. I love having purple hair. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to have colored hair for my wedding. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Anyways, hi! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm kind of all over the place. I have energy today. I don't know why. I slept a little bit. I slept in a little bit, I guess, today. Not a lot, though. But I've got a lot of things outside of the house done. I've got nothing done inside of the house today. Like, I didn't even make myself breakfast or coffee this morning. Um, which is fine because I went and dropped off my car and then I walked to a brunch spot and I had brunch by myself and it was delicious and I highly recommend going on a date by yourself. And then I went to call and then I went to Starbucks and got a chai and somehow it was both hot and cold at the same time. And I was very confused by that. I'm still not sure how they managed to do that one, but it wasn't very tasty, unfortunately. Um... When got my hair done, did got it cut instead of the usual hour. It took almost two because we retried the dye. She only charged me for one, but we did have to retry it, and it did it did mostly stick. I do still love it, and it is shorter now. Um, cut off all of the split ends. It was bad. I haven't gotten a haircut since January. We we looked back on it. I haven't done anything since January. So, but let's talk writing <laughs> and school because. School's always a thing right now. Um, but for, let's start with yesterday, because today I'm still writing, I haven't finished it obviously, but yesterday I got 2,507 words in on my NaNoWriMo project, and I'm really proud of myself for that one. I came up with some really fun things that I didn't expect to happen, uh, but I'm excited about it anyways. I also came up with today, um, I came up with a scene for the fourth book that I think will be in there, but it may not. Uh, the more I think about it, the less I like it, so I think I'm going to end up getting rid of it. But the general idea will still be there, uh, so that's interesting. I have been noticing I've been doing that. Today, I've only written 202 words in my project. I've written 192 in the previous project that I was working on. Um, in... Uh, the third book in this series, <laughs> but I'm still really happy with where I'm at. So I'm going to do a little bit more writing and I'd like to get some reading in today, but I also haven't looked at my homework for the week. So we're going to do that in a little bit. And yeah, um, you also may notice I'm not posting two videos a week this month. Honestly, it didn't start out as planned that way. I wasn't planning on not posting two videos a week. But with how things are turning out and with how busy things are right now with school and with the holidays, I really just don't have a lot of extra time on my hands for filming. Um, and I also don't really know what exactly you guys want to see in the other videos. Um, so I really would love some suggestions on what you guys want to see because I don't know. I'm new to this channel, to this idea of writer talk or author talk, whatever it is. And I would love the ideas because I don't know what to do. To film. I, I'm in a bit of a filming slump right now. Um, we're also only doing one video a week for our booktube channel right now because we're busy with the holidays and a lot of stuff has come up. That's really what I got. I haven't started any new books. I haven't been reading much. I've been reading over what I've been writing, <laughs> so that's been kind of fun. 
um, and it is keeping me motivated. I was gonna do the whip tag for the third book in the series, but I'm wondering if I should just wait until I finish this one and then do one at the end of each one because I really haven't finished the first draft of the third book. I'm still working on it, which is weird. And I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that I am still kind of actively, or not really actively, in the back I'm kind of still editing it in my head and that's why I stopped it is because I have to re-edit all of it. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Basically, I need to rewrite the third book that I have, how many words? Hold on. I have 143,352 words in that project right now, and it's not—it's not, it, it, it's not good. It needs to be redone. I don't like it. On the other hand, I have 32,000 now in the my current nano project, so that's really exciting. I really like that concept. But yeah, so it's it's going. Things are going. Things are moving, and I am writing a little bit. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna get back to it. I am going to actually write. I do also need to do a couple things for work. Um, and then I need to do some home, some stuff for homework, figure out what my homework is for this week, and I need to print off the articles that I need to read as well. So I might do some article reading tonight as well. I don't know if we're doing date night. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. We haven't gone out in a while, but it's mostly because of school and because we've been busy and John's been working extra hours lately. So, yes, but until later, because I'll probably check in at the end of the night. It's only five o'clock right now. It's really dark outside. Welcome to the Midwest in winter. Um, but yes. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> it's Wednesday. My lecture for the week is not up yet. They're always up by Tuesday. I guess I'm not doing that lecture tonight. I guess I'll do a different one. Luckily, I have another one, I think. Do I have another one? Ooh, do I have another lecture? Do I have my homework? Um, yeah. Okay, I have my other one. And it's a short one. It's only 38 slides. That's not bad. Last week's was 62. Um, I'm missing a lecture. Which is so weird. Hold on, did he, like... Did my prof, did he email us or anything? Maybe, do I have, do I have messages? No, I don't. What was the seventh? It's Tuesday. Yeah, sir. Excuse me. It's due on the 20th. <laughs> It would like the lecture, please. You didn't send anything saying there wasn't a lecture. I don't know what's happening. If I don't get a lecture by the end of today, I will reach out and be like, hey, question. Um, I would like to know where the lecture is. So we'll see. Hopefully we get that soon because kind of need it. I Unfortunate, unless there isn't a lecture, but it's... There should be a lecture. There's always a lecture. And then next week's off, and then we have another one. Okay. I'm confused. I'm so confused. I just miss you more than anything It's way too quiet in the house I'm just wasted on the couch Cause I don't wanna feel anything Wish you'd stay Stay here beside me This isn't how it's supposed to be Wish you'd stay Can't shake that feeling that we said goodbye to. 
I got 900, hold on, I took my contacts out, 952 words in the project. I'll take that. Um, I was not, I could not come up with good scenes to write today, so I'm probably going to rewrite what I wrote today tomorrow, and I'll do it better. But I tried, and Boo's here, so. (laughs) (laughs) That was so weird. Oh. That that's that's my house. Cool. Uh, yeah. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Here, I'll show you my hair. It got it's it's like I'm gonna stain the pillow tonight, but it's like purplish. It's like reddish purple. It's supposed to be purple, but it's a little bit redder. But it's pretty. All my roots are like deep red right now. It's kind of funny. All right. So, it's bedtime, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye! Hello. Hello. So, it is the 16th. It is Wednesday. Thursday. It's Thursday. Ooh, it's Thursday. Shit. So, (laughs) um, I have a couple updates for you guys. They're exciting updates. I'm very excited to share these updates. Um, The first is that today I wrote... Okay, so I did. I wrote 1,665 words in my project, um, which is really exciting because yesterday I wrote 952, so I was a little bit low on my count yesterday. But today I'm so excited because I think I finally figured out the way that I'm going to have this story going, so I have a solid plot outline. I have a solid outline of how this story is going to go and I'm so excited. I have added um, one trope for sure. Um, I kind of adjusted the first one. So this used to be kind of like an an avid dislike to lovers. Now it is actually a hate to lovers or hate to love kind of situation. (laughs) Um, They just piss each other off a lot. And then it's also going to be a forced proximity uh, romance which I'm very excited for. But yes, so I did manage to get the 1,665 words in today, and I'm really, really happy with the direction that it's going. (laughs) So let me update my nano really quickly. Here, I'll even show you guys the word count that I had. Today I have written 1,665 words. That's where I'm at. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately what that does mean is that quite a bit of what I had written before is not really gonna be as it is now. It's going to have to change. A lot is gonna have to change and that's fine. I was literally writing these random scenes in order to figure out where this plot was going and I have found where the plot is going and some of them the scenes will be used just in different kind of ways I guess if you will. So let me get my word count in, like I said and then we'll go from there. So I did update my word count. I'm just I'm I didn't refresh my page apparently. <laughs> All right so that brings me up to this month. I've written 29,962 words. If it wasn't that I'm really tired and I do want to go to bed, I would just write those additional 40 words right now, but I'm going to save it. I'm going to write them tomorrow. Um, I am at a point where I'm excited to write the continuation of this book again, which is great news. Very exciting. Um, but yes, so I did the thing. I'm really excited about it, honestly. I'm very excited. And as much as like 1600 words isn't a lot of words, all things considered, it did, it is the start of, I read, or I wrote, I wrote chapter five. Most of chapter five today. I started writing the actual chapters. I've written chapter one, chapter one is done. I've written about half of chapter three, half of chapter four, and then over half of chapter five. Almost all of chapter five, I would say. Um, so yes, and then I have an idea for chapter six, but the way that I kind of want it to go, it's not really, I don't know, I have to see how I exactly want the scenes to line up, because um, they need to run away, and um, I need to come up with, she's not gonna wanna go, but, I need a really good reason for her to go, and I'm having trouble coming up with those reasons right now. So, um, yes, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. It's a good thing he's not trying to hurt her. He's saving her. It's good. It's it's a good thing she ran away with him. She just doesn't know that because he's kind of an asshole sometimes. <laughs> um, but I've also written 16 days in a row. Pretty happy with that. And yeah, today was a pretty average day as far as writing goes actually a little bit lower than average. Um, my average, according to NaNoWriMo website for this month, is 1,872 words a day. As of now, I will hit 50,000 by the 27th of November, which I'm really okay with. That works. <laughs> um, my word count isn't super high right now, but I think it'll get a little higher now that I have figured out my plot, so that's, that's good. I've gotten a couple comments, which is very exciting, and I got one that was asked about being a discovery writer so I will address that hopefully later um but yeah I'm welcome you guys I'm so excited you guys are all here uh watching the videos and here with following all of that I'm really excited so welcome and yeah but I'm gonna go to bed because I'm really tired so yeah uh I will talk to you later bye <laughs>
My heart still beats for the place where I grew up Hello! If you can hear music, it's because John is watching a show right now, which is... I have my headphones on most of the time I'm up here. You know what, I'm gonna go close the door. Love you. Okay. So it's Friday. It's Friday, November seventeenth. Um, I have a couple things to talk about actually. First thing is, you may have seen it now. I think I'll put it in before. It's either going to go in before or after. I'm not sure which one. Um, I I need to do more homework. <laughs> Honestly, I've been um, slightly neglecting school a little bit. I got caught up in NaNoWriMo, and I'm still going to be doing NaNoWriMo, but um, that's one of the reasons that I'm going down to one video a week right now, um, is that with school, I really can't, I don't have the time, and I don't have the mental fortitude to do two videos right now. Um, so I'm going to be prioritizing my mental health and my education, and I'm going to focus on that. But I hope you guys still stick around. I may do a couple extra videos in December, but I have three papers due in December. Like the 2nd, the 18th, and the 22nd. Yeah, like the 22nd of all days. Crazy. Anyways, today um, I've been working on homework since I got home, basically. I did do some writing before. Um, I'm pretty lucky I'm able to be on a computer at work and while I'm at desk I can do a little bit of writing. I did some writing but I also did read one of my articles for school. Um, and I did check with my boss and make sure I was allowed to do stuff like write and read up at the desk and he said yes. Oh, I have the hiccups. So I have been taking advantage, uh, full and complete advantage of doing that. Um, but I did actually manage to get quite a bit written today, which I'm really proud of. I got 2,910 words written today, and that is a record in this, um, in this book for NaNoWriMo for this month. I'm so excited. Um, like I said, I think yesterday or the day before, I have finally figured out the plot of this book. Um, so... I'm really excited. I'm able to just kind of go for it now and I think it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be very different from what it originally was. Um, it's gonna be a lot more thrillery, a lot more um, action-y, and a bit more romance in there as well. So overall it's just gonna be a better book so I'm very excited for that. Um, but that was my other thing I wanted to talk about is that I am still writing. I am still planning on trying to get my 50k in this month on this book. I am on track to do so. I do still find comfort in writing even if it's I don't know what's going to happen yet. But I do need to start prioritizing school a lot more than I have been, which is on me completely. Um, I honestly... I kind of lost motivation for the major for a little bit there, and I'm still struggling with it at times, um, simply because of what's happening in the world right now. It's very difficult. Um, I, I want to work in archives. I want to work um, with like historical documents and stuff. It's very difficult to do that, though, right now, um, since everybody's challenging history all over the place and trying to shut them down. So it's, it's, it's interesting. Well, I don't know if they're actually trying to shut them down, but... It's, it's difficult to work in a field like this, um, and it's constantly being kind of attacked by all sorts of people. It, it, I'm learning this as I'm doing these classes, um, but I'm also kind of falling back into some old ha bad habits I'm realizing from, from undergrad. Um, I am not good at reading. Thing, re my reading comprehension is good, but a lot of the times I need to read questions for like papers and stuff like that out loud. Like I just took a quiz that had four questions and I had to read each question out loud to myself and then go through the answers twice before they all computed for me. Which is interesting because I can read a book without a problem. I can read a story without a problem, but comprehending 
some of the questions for class takes a bit longer. I'm not sure what that is or why that is, um, but I do need to spend the time to get this stuff done. Um, I got a 5 out of 5 on the quiz, so I was happy with it, but it does take me a little bit longer than honestly it probably should for, for a lot of people, but um, that's okay. I also, my, the subject for writing today was um, access and privacy, so, and copyright laws and that kind of stuff, so it's, it's all very, very interesting and very, um, kind of, depends on where you are, what it is, who you are, who donated, it depends on a lot of things I'm learning, um, there's a lot involved in this, which is kind of crazy, but I am still enjoying um, school to a point. I mean, how much can you enjoy it all the time? Um, but the semester is drawing to an end soon, so there's a couple um, things that I need to do for school. Uh, I had a little bit I need to pay off the last little bit of tuition, and I am going to be signing up for next semester's classes pretty soon as well. I think I'm going to end up taking the summer off again. I think I feel better when I do. Um, also, I don't know that any of my classes are going to be offered uh, during the summer. If they are, I may take one, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll also see how I do this semester. Um, I think I've said this before, but for my major, it's not so much a pass-fail, but you have to get above a certain grade in each class in order for it to count towards your major, which, from what I understand, isn't uncommon for graduate school. Uh, the percentage grade for my major is an 84%, <laughs> which is fine, and for the most part it's not a big deal, but um, some of the stuff does get complex at times, and especially with writing long papers that are 8 to 10 pages, I do tend to, um, every once in a while I'll get distracted and I won't write it quite right, so I, I always worry about having to retake things, whether or not I'll actually have to, I will always worry about it. Um, I mean, in high school and undergrad, I was a C plus, B minus average student. Um, I wasn't bad at school, I wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't so much that I was particularly bad at school or good at school, I was very bad at tests. Um, I had severe test anxiety, and like I said before with questions, I had to read everything out loud to myself in order for it to make sense, and I just wasn't able to do that all the time. So, that's more of my, that's part of my ADHD, <laughs> fun fact, that's, where mine kind of kicked in in school and kind of, um, I ran into some actual academic problems at some point, but I'm not here to get into that right now. But I know this is more of a nano vlog, but I really did want to come in and talk about school a little bit because this is something that I am actively doing during nano. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I'm not doing 5k days right now. I, I could, but I really don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> um, when I'm off school, when I'm off school, when I'm when the semester is done, uh, then I will probably try and do a couple 5K days. Uh, might even try for a 10K day or something like that. If you guys are interested, do a vlog about that. Um, I will definitely do that this summer. I'm so excited to do more of those kinds of videos this summer. But for now, uh, it's going to be probably no more than 3K a day, which is still pretty good. I'm really happy with that. I'm a fast writer and I know that half of what I write is going to end up being deleted. Especially the first kind of stuff that I wrote at the beginning, because um, now we're not using that plotline anymore. I have switched my plotline from what it originally was. Oh well, we're gonna keep the words. I still wrote them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that's my kind of lengthy update. Like I said, it is only Friday, but a lot has happened and I had a meltdown this week already, so that was fun. Um, I like going off and on with feeling like I have a head cold. I do have this, um, this is, what is this? This is peppermint oil. I have a peppermint oil that I got from a book box actually from Unplugged because I love their stuff and their stuff is very useful. But I was starting to get a headache, and I really didn't want to go downstairs and grab any ibuprofen. So I just swashed this on my temples, and then I have to do right on like my cheekbones too. For some reason, um, it helps my it helps my nose, it helps my sinuses calm like kind of calm down, and then it helps my headaches. So um, yeah, and then everything smells like mint. So I'm not gonna complain about that, but just like a regular peppermint peppermint 
oil balm sorts. So, yeah. It says peppermint magic. But, yeah, so that's my update here for you guys. I've gotten quite a few new followers, and hello to all of you. I'm very excited to have you here. Um, I can't say I've read a book because I haven't read a book yet. I haven't finished one yet this month. I need to get on that. I do have, I think I have two audiobooks that I just got from Libby um, that I, let me make sure I, I have them. I, I did download them, I think. So I have The Unfortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic by Rian Randall, which I also have the physical copy of that book. I just haven't picked it up yet, and I figured since my library has the audiobook, I figured I'd re request it, and I, it just came through. Um, I have it for another seven days. Oh, oh, there's a, a wait list for that one. Um, and then I also have The Coincidence of Coconut Cake by Amy E. Reichart. Um, this is a book that I got because it takes place in the Midwest, and there aren't a lot of books that I've seen. And I've heard things about this one. I don't remember how I really got into that one. The next one it looks like that I'll be getting is Once Upon a December by Amy E. Reichart. So, same author. And it says... I'm second in line for that one, so I should be getting it pretty soon, which is really nice, and I'm really excited. Um, otherwise, I've got nine other books on hold <laughs> that I'm waiting for. Um, I'm allowed to hold up to ten books at a time. I've got Nora Goes Off Script, The Cimmerillion, The Wife Upstairs by Frieda McFadden, The Thursday Murder Club, Wool, The Villa by Rachel Hawkins, which I'm very excited for. That one's going to be several months, it said. It says, um, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, Cackle by Rachel Harrison, which I actually just got the physical copy of that one from the library as well. That one came in first, so I have that one. And The Book That Wouldn't Burn, also by Mark Lawrence. So I'm pretty excited for my list of holds that I have right now. But yeah, um, I might start The Unfortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic tomorrow. Honestly, I'm so intrigued by that book. It's advertised, she advertises it on TikTok as Practical Magic Meets Gilmore Girls, so, yeah. Alright, this was a really, really long update. I didn't expect to be this long. <laughs> it's over 12 minutes now. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to cut some of that out. Or this video is gonna be like an hour long, and no one wants to sit through an hour long video of me. Or do you? Let me know if you do. I didn't think I was that entertaining. These lights right here are actually um, like a kitty corner neighbor down the street. Like, they just have lights in their backyard. It's kind of cute. We have them too, but ours aren't done. Okay, I'm talking a lot. I'm avoiding going back to my homework, but I need to do a discussion post. Um, but it does, it looks like only one other person's participated in the discussion. It's not due until Saturday evening, but I still would kind of like to get at least my first post for this up tonight, and then I'll do the reply, the response tomorrow. The responses are due Monday night, so yes. Right, and I need to actually email this professor, but I'm going to go now before I just keep talking. So, yes, and I will talk to you guys later, probably tomorrow. I feel like I should start, like, hang holding up my phone or something just to prove to you it's a different day every time I appear on this screen. Because I feel like you can't tell that <laughs> now it's um, the 18th of November. It is Saturday, and it was a good day, and at... I, I wrote a lot today. I had, I actually think I was just distracting myself from the fact that I was not feeling good today. I wrote in three separate stories today. <laughs> I wrote a lot, honestly. I wrote a lot, and I'm very excited about what I wrote. Um, I think I hit, technically, technically, over the three stories, I wrote 5,825 words today. I technically had a 5k day, but it wasn't in one story, so I don't know if I want to count that towards NaNoWriMo. I'm not counting all of the words towards NaNoWriMo. Um, I'm only counting the words in my current work, Sander Sanders' book, is what I'm calling it right now. Um, Sanders' book, uh, I wrote 2,418 words though, so I'm still really happy with that. Like, that's a solid amount of words. And then in the next book, which is a Dawn's book, I wrote 1,298 words, which I'm very happy with as well. 
And then in Katie's book, which is the one that I worked on before, I rewrote a scene because it was bothering me. Um, and I wrote 2,109 words. So like I said, I wrote almost 6,000 words today and I might play with a couple more later, but for right now, like that's a lot of words. I'm really happy with that. I'm calling this a 5K day because I did write 5K in the day. Um, but yeah, so far I'm making honestly really good progress on this story. I'm really happy with the direction it's going now that I have the plot outlined, now that I have the plot in my head, um, it's the direction it's going is I'm very excited to see how this happens and where it goes. So yay, happiness there. Um, <laughs> as far as school goes, I got uh, most of my homework <laughs> for yesterday done. I got nearly everything for one of my classes done yesterday. I just need to do my discussions posts today. Um, and then I need to do my other class. So it's not too bad. I, oh, I only have, I have no readings. What? Interesting. Okay, so there's no readings. There's just a PowerPoint and then our discussion questions. So that's not, I guess that's what it's been the last two weeks and somehow I missed that. Oh, there's readings again starting next week. Um, and then I have a project due on the 3rd of December. So, and then one due on the 11th, another due on the 18th, and then the 22nd. So I have four projects. I thought I only had three. Wow. Oops. That's what I get. But that's four projects in three weeks. So I'm starting those this weekend, this, this upcoming week. Huh. All right. Um, which is fine. I did look ahead a little bit to them and I'm actually going to be talking with one of my professors about one of them because um, this is the second version of this project, and I think I talked about this like a little yesterday, and I don't fully understand the project, so he's going to help walk me through it a little bit, which is very helpful, and I really appreciate that. So yeah, all right, so that's what I got for you guys here today. Um, I'm really proud of how much I've written. I'm, I'm really proud of how much I'm still writing. I know that I need to, I'm prioritizing school, and I need to get into the habit of doing that, but I'm still really excited that I wrote so much today. Like that's, that's a lot. Um, I'm really excited. I'm developing a lot of my characters and a lot of their like back action, like their back stories and a lot of their, um, why they act how they do. Um, so yeah. All right. That's what I got. And I'm going to go now and I will talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Bye. Brand new angle. Cause I got a package from Macmillan Day, and I didn't order anything from them. I don't think I even requested anything. So I'm not sure how I ended up with this one. I don't think I requested anything. I haven't been requesting anything because I'm not reading right now. Oh, it's a little book. It's a little one. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, so it comes with a little business card for the assassin, which is really just kind of cute. Um, so this is a proof of, oh, hold on, of the Dead Cat Tail Assassins by P. DeJelly Clark. Um, I have not heard of this one. It comes out in April 2024. What did I get? I got, oh, interesting. Okay, so apparently this is an award-winning author that introduces an entirely new world of gods and assassins. If you like... Dungeons and Dragons, John Wick, A Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemison, and Ordinary Monsters by J.M. Miro. So this is the little ad they gave me for it. Alright, so let's just read the back. It says, The deadly cattail assassins are not cats, nor do they have tails, but they are most assuredly dead. Not deadly, dead. They are dead. D-E-A-D, dead. Nebula and Alex Award winner, um, P... Jelly Clark, I feel bad, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry, um, introduces a brand new world in a fantastical city full of gods and assassins. Are you ready? Even the Eviscerator, even the Eviscerator is skilled, discreet, professional, and here for your most pressing needs in the ancient city of Tali Ab 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 Abisi. Sorry, of Tal Abisi. Her guild is strong, her blades are sharp, and her rules are simple. Those sworn to the matron of assassins, resurrected, deadly, wiped out of their memories, or wiped of their memories, have only three unbreakable vows. 
First, the contract must be just. That's above Even's pay grade. Uh, second, even the most powerful assassin may only kill the contracted. Even's a professional. She's never missed her mark. The third and simplest, once you accept a job, you must carry it out. And if you stray, a final death would be a mercy. When the festival of the Clockwork King turns the city upside down, Evine's uh, newest mission brings her face to face with a past she isn't supposed to remember and a vow she can't forget. All right, I'm intrigued. So this is, oh, this is a short book. This book's only 209 pages. So this is a very short one. Um, I'm intrigued. I really, really like this cover. I know the lights aren't on, so you can't see it very well. But look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, I'm very excited. This looks, re this sounds really intriguing, really good, really short. I'm excited. Hopefully I will get this in pretty soon. I need more short books to read because it's, I, I don't have a lot of time, so shorter books are better right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I got. So I wanted to unbox that, but that's really cute. Hi hey guys, it is Tuesday the 21st, the day this video goes up. And I have not talked to you in like two days, I want to say. Oops, sorry about that. Um, I got... I got a bloody nose this morning, apparently. It's back to being dry. Those of you who were around last year, I got a bloody nose, like, three days in a row around this time last year. Well, it looks like it's back. That's, that's gonna be great. Um, but I'm back, yes, with, with my numbers for writing and a little bit of an update. I haven't been doing a lot of writing. I don't know the last time I actually updated you. I think I updated you on... I have no idea what day. Because I haven't gone through any of my footage yet. So we're gonna go back three days. We're gonna go back to Saturday. Saturday, I had a great, I had an excellent writing day. I wrote 2,418 words in Sanders' book. Um, I was feeling productive and confident, going well. Uh, Sunday, I devoted a lot of my time to doing homework. Well, actually, no. I devoted a lot of Saturday to doing homework. And then Sunday, I did kind of the same thing as well. Um, I got 591 words in on Sunday, so not exactly a lot. But I got some in. And then yesterday, I got distracted. And I wrote 326 words, which I think is my low count for this month. No, it's not. My low count is 312, so 326 is still, what, 14 more than that? Yeah, okay. Um, I got distracted. And what did I get distracted by, you might ask? So, I use Dabble to write my books, and until now, all four of the books in this series have been under one manuscript, and I switched them to four different manuscripts because... <laughs> I had an idea for a rewrite of um, Katie's book, which is the book that I was writing for Camp NaNoWriMo this year, the one I've been working on. Um, and I needed to get this idea out before I forgot it. And I'm really happy with it, and I'm really happy with where it's going. Uh, but I needed to write a draft too. <laughs> so I wrote, I started draft two of, of that one, um, which I should not be doing. It's not the plan. I'm actually, the interesting thing right now is so funny, is I'm getting ideas for all of the books, except for the one I'm writing. Except for Sanders' book. Which is really annoying, because Sanders' book is book one, and I just, I need, I need to write it, so that way I can write the other ones. And I'm a little irritated with myself, but... I've developed some of my characters a bit more, um, I've developed their dislikes and their likes, um, and I've come up with actually some of their worst fears, which is something I didn't think I needed to come up with, but it looks like it's something I do need to come up with. So, I have discovered most of them, and it's interesting, but yes, it has nothing to do with what I'm currently writing. On the other hand, I'm not yet behind. I'm still on track for finishing NaNoWriMo by the end of the month, for finishing my 50,000 words. I'm actually technically still ahead on word count 
where I'm supposed to be. I'm hoping today will be a better writing day. I don't know that it will be. Um, I live in the U.S. and Thanksgiving is this week, so I know for a fact that Saturday will probably be a zero word day, if, if not maybe a hundred or two hundred words, because we're going to be at John's parents' house, um, and I won't have my computer there, so I will have my iPad, my iPad, but yeah, we'll see. I might write it up there, I might not, I don't know, I haven't decided honestly yet, but this morning... Full disclosure, I woke up with a nightmare. Like, I could not get out of this nightmare. I had to, like, try and wake John up because I couldn't... I got stuck in my head in this nightmare. Um, and I came up with a plot for it. So, people who ask where, right, where, where story ideas come from, anywhere and everywhere, including the things that give me nightmares, and it's given me a book idea. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because it's great, and I apparently I am all in on the uh, writing thing right now, which is great. Uh, but that does mean, especially with school, that uh, YouTube may go back to like one, maybe two videos a week for now. Until uh, school's done and I can kind of catch up on things, which doesn't really have much to do with writing, except for the fact that... I don't really have a lot of time for writing either right now, so we'll see what happens. But... That's what I got. Um, that's just my little random update. Oh, I sound sick. I feel sick. I'm going to work today because we're already short-staffed short because of the holiday. But I also need to do homework. So I'm going to quickly edit this video, post it, and then I'm going to see if I can print out some of my, my articles that I need to read for this week. Because I think everything's actually due on Wednesday instead of on Sunday, like it normally is. Let me do my numbers wrap up for this week, because I haven't done that yet. I feel like I should also warn you guys, um, week four, next week, my vlog is probably not going to go up until Thursday or Friday, because that's the end of NaNoWriMo, and I feel like I can just get all of NaNoWriMo into that one vlog, and then I'm going to have another video that's going to go up on Tuesday. That or I'm going to do a vlog on Tuesday and then another one that's going to go up on Friday. So we'll see what I end up doing. For my week three total, um, for Sanders' book, I wrote 11,369 words, which is below average, below what I normally write, and less than I wrote during weeks one or two. But then as far as all of my projects go... I wrote 15,642 words, uh, which is more than I wrote in week two, but less than I wrote in week one. I'm going to have to go through at some point and see how much viable writing I have for um, <laughs> Sanders' book, actually, in the, at the end of NaNoWriMo, because a lot of it actually won't be used I, since I've redone the plot and the the timeline and everything, I have to rework most of it. And I still don't have my solid timeline outlined yet, which is really bothering me, and I think is one of the things that I'm struggling with writing this book, is that I still don't have my timeline set in stone for like what needs to happen when and all the different scenes and stuff. Um, and I don't know whose point of view they need to be from. I know whose point of view I've written a lot of scenes from, but... So I gotta, I gotta work on some of these things, and I need to figure out how long, like, they're gonna spend some time in hiding, so it's a forced proximity, um, and I need to figure out how long they're gonna be spending in hiding, and that kind of stuff, so I need to figure this out. I don't know. We'll see. So. But, plus side, for the total this month, I have written 36,209 words in Sanders' book, and... Total over all of my projects, I've written 48,021 words, which is very exciting, and I'm happy with that. Um, but as you can tell, I'm losing my voice, so I'm going to go edit this video before it gets any longer, because I have a feeling this is already a very long video. Um, but, yeah, so I will talk to you guys next time, and until then, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know I've been getting several followers because of NaNoWriMo, and I'm glad for it. I'm glad you guys are here. Glad you're joining the journey. 
of grad school and writing. <laughs> I'm trying to become um, a published author. Uh, those are that is my ultimate goal. So uh, welcome. I hope you stick around. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out quite a bit. Um, and you know what to do. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep reading, and keep moving forward.